Hey there, creatorpreneurs. We're super excited today to announce that the graphics creator can now do circular text. Hey, everybody. My name is Mark Sylvester, and if you've never seen our software before, we have a graphics program called the Graphics Creator. And today we've announced that the Graphics Creator now can do text on a circle. So let me give you some basics so that you can get to work and create your own masterpieces. So I'm going to erase all of this and start from scratch. So this new text feature works a little bit differently than normal text. Let me show you how it works. Up here we have a new menu item called Insert. If you pull it down, you'll be able to insert text or a text box wrap or text circle. This is our new feature and all of these other items. So we're going to do text circle. So we're going to click on it. And we got our turkle, <laughs> our turkle sex, <laughs> our circle text. And to manipulate it, you're going to come over here to the left hand menu and you're going to look for text circle format. And if you click it, you'll see a bunch of controls that you can use. So we have the scale. Okay, it scales the circle. That's easy. We have the rotation. Super easy. We have the font size. It doesn't change the size of the circle, it changes the font size, okay? And we have character spacing, so we can go all the way around the circle or crunched up. Now, to change the text, normally you would double click on the text. You can't do that with text on a circle. So instead, you're gonna come up here and you're gonna type in something like, we can, we can do circles, okay? And we're gonna hit uh, return to the text menu and we're gonna change the font. So here's where you'll change the font. Text format, we can pick a system font if you're on the uh, downloadable software. If you're using the online version, you're only gonna be able to do the Google fonts for now. And you can scroll down this list if you want to find one here, okay? Or you can select a font. I happen to know I like Righteous. There's my new font and I'm gonna to return to the text menu and now I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit. So the font size can be big. We're gonna do the rotation like that and scale it bigger, so scale it smaller. Okay, and this character spacing. So let's do this. Now if we wanna do um, the upper text and then a bottom text here, if you click bottom text, it's going to set the text inside the circle. If you click on the top, it'll set it above the circle. So if we want the same format and the same spacing, we can come up here to edit. We can hit duplicate. And then of course, come back down to circle format and choose bottom, okay? And now we can set the size and the rotation. And now let's say we have a, I don't know, like I had in the beginning, I have a globe. I'm gonna bring the globe over here and now, here's the size of my globe. My text isn't quite fitting, so what I wanna do is look at this very faint circle here, okay? And I wanna match this circle with my circle object. So what I like to do is I like to set the exact circle on top of the globe, or on top of the circle object. So I'm going to um, try and match it. Now there's a few ways if you can't quite get it, you can come over here to the numbers and we can type in 250, return, move it. That's pretty good, but I can still see it's a little bigger. So here's a trick that you might not know that the graphics creator can do. If you put your mouse and you click on the little handle, just click it so that it's kind of selected. You'll see it's bigger than the other, other handles. When it's selected, you can use your arrow keys. I'm using my arrow keys and I'm tapping it to get almost exactly the size that I want. Let's move it up again a little bit. Okay, pretty close. It's sitting right on the on the on the globe. Now I'm going to tap this one more time. Bring it down just a bit. There we go. Cool. And now we're going to do the same with the bottom text. We can click on it and make sure that the that the circle outline is matching our circular image. But you can kind of eyeball it. You know, it's going to like I said, it's going to take some getting used to, but once you start working with it, it's pretty cool. And if we wanna change the font to something like a script font, I can click here and I know that my script font is dancing. And I'm gonna choose it, 
There it is. And I think I need it bigger. So again, I'm going to come to return and find the text circle format and set the font a little bit bigger and the spacing a little closer. And I want the color now to be white or even yellow. Or if I even want to pick up the blue of the globe, I can click on the little eyedropper tool and select it. Now, let me show you a really quick trick that you probably want to, uh, to keep in mind. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go to uh, Select Designs. Don't really need to save the changes for this. Okay, so all of the previous templates, you know, we didn't have the circle text feature. So all of these other uh, templates that we've created don't have any circle text. So for you to do your own circle text, let's try this. Let's click on uh, a template that has a circle in it. Okay, let's reset this to white. I don't know why that goes black like that. And reset this to, to white. Okay, so we want, let's format the canvas a little bit bigger so we can see this. I'm gonna select everything and move it to the center. So we can't, as of now, take announcement, take the word announcement and bend it over the circle. It just won't work. So again, what we're gonna have to do is come up here to insert and we're going to insert some new circle text. Okay, here it is. Now, I want the word announcement to wrap around this. So, first we have to know what font this is. So I'm gonna click on it, come over here to text format. Okay, so this is Bebis Nui. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna click on the circle text and come up here and go to Google Fonts and I'm gonna start typing Beb, oh there it is, Bebis Nui. So I click on it. And there's the same text and I want it to say announcement so I click on the text come over here to text format and type in, in capitals announce announcement and I know it's got a, a close character space so I'm gonna make the character spacing kind of close and of course I need the font to be white so we're gonna click on make it white and I see there's a faint blue outline around it so let's come over here to text outline click on the little eyedropper tool and if I can get in there and I can click on the blue oh, okay that was white there there's the blue and now the strength is gonna be super thin apparently okay here we go and click that get rid of that and I'm gonna take the word announcement now and toss it because now I have this. Now it might not be fit, it might not fit the circle, so we're gonna have to do our little uh, trick on scaling it. You know, to what you can you can eyeball it and do what you uh, want to uh, want to do with it. And we can hit the rotation so it's this way or this way. But there you go. That's how I bent the word announcement to my will. <laughs> Click on this text. Okay and I can duplicate it and instead of doing what we just did we're gonna come over here to text format and we're gonna to go to bottom and set the character spacing set the font size okay you got the idea and there we go that is a pretty cool looking graphic okay I hope that was informative and I hope you have a good time using this circular text I would love to see what you guys create with it. So come into the Laughing Bird software group on Facebook and start posting your, your creations. I'd love to see how you utilize this new circle text tool. Okay, go out there and create, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.